The boxer engine is a configuration with horizontally opposed pistons. It's fair to say that only a few motorcycles have ever used this engine configuration. Due to the position of the cylinders on the left and right sides, it is considered to take up a lot of space and is less practical for a motorcycle. Therefore, the boxer engine tends to be avoided by most two-wheeler manufacturers. However, of the many two-wheeler manufacturers that have made motorcycles with boxer engines, perhaps BMW Motorrad is one of the manufacturers that still exists using this type of engine. BMW Motorrad has been using the Boxer engine since they first made motorcycles in 1923. And to this day, the Boxer engine is still featured in their motorcycle product line, such as the BMW R90 series, BMW GS series, R1250RT, R1250RS, R1250R, and BMW R18. No wonder the Boxer engine has become an icon and a hallmark of BMW Motorrad motorcycles. So, why does BMW Motorrad maintain this impractical engine configuration, and what are the special features of this engine? Of course, BMW Motorrad maintains the boxer engine not without consideration and experience. Despite all its shortcomings, the boxer engine has various advantages that are not possessed by other engine configurations. First. The boxer engine has a horizontal piston movement in opposite directions, so that the weight of the left and right engines is distributed evenly, resulting in a low center of gravity effect, meaning the motorcycle's center of gravity can be better centralized compared to other engine configurations. A motorcycle with a low center of gravity will produce more stable handling and good balance even when used on uneven terrain. Of course, an engine character like this is very much needed, especially for the use of adventure tourer motorcycles like the BMW GS. Therefore, it is not surprising that the BMW GS is one of the motorcycles quite idolized by touring enthusiasts. Second, because the position of the cylinders extends to the sides, both cylinders each receive an even blast of air from the front, so the cooling of the BMW Boxer engine can remain optimal even without being equipped with a sophisticated cooling system. For example, we can see this on the BMW R90 and BMW R18 engines. Both of these motorcycle engines only rely on a breezy air cooling system and an oil cooler. Third, although the construction of the Boxer engine is considered too wide, and not ideal if applied to a motorcycle, this actually makes it easier when servicing or disassembling engine components, especially those involving cylinder components. So, for example, if you want to set valves, change camshafts, change spark plugs, and so on, you certainly won't need to lower the engine or remove other components because the protruding position of the cylinders to the sides allows mechanics more freedom to access them. Then the fourth advantage is still related to engine construction. Because the cylinders extend to the left and right, the boxer engine cylinders also function as a crash bar. So when the motorcycle falls, these two protruding cylinders will at least prevent the rider from being directly crushed by the motorcycle body. The last advantage of the BMW Boxer engine is its good low-end torque. Although it does not produce high horsepower, the BMW Boxer engine has a smooth power delivery character and good torque response across all RPM ranges. So, a motorcycle with a Boxer engine can be comfortably ridden leisurely, but can also accelerate quickly when needed. Well, those were some of the advantages of the BMW Boxer engine that have kept it in existence and continue to be loved by its fans to this day.